Arthur Adams was one of the most popular 1980s cover artists. His first professional work was Longshot. This was an awesome series, especially if you think this was his first professional work. And this predates any of the image guys. Jim Lee, Todd McFarlane, they all hadn't started yet. And Arthur Adams himself said he was inspired by Neil Adams. You can kind of see that, but he really is one of the first ones to get this new look that the image guys all tried to copy. It also started the thing of having a really good cover and then having this in the inside. <laughs> Nothing against Dave Cockrum, but yeah, everybody probably wished that the inside was drawn by Arthur Adams as well. So in my opinion, there's two Adamses. There's skinny Adams Adams and buff 90s Adams. So when he just started out, he drew his characters very skinny. It definitely had that 80s vibe. The faces as well were more realistic. So that's what I'm gonna try to emulate today, that um, skinny Adams style. So let's analyze some of his early work. Typical thing is the forearms, like very muscular forearms, and then the wrists that kind of go straight into the fists. That's probably where Liefeld got it from. Let's analyze the faces. Here's these little diagonal dots coming from the eye. A few dots above the brow as well. Why the faces look so real is because the eyes are quite small. Like if I would draw a female face, I would exaggerate the eyes and the lips, but Arthur Adams keeps it very realistic, especially the lips, quite small. These haircuts are also very typical, 1980s, parted in the middle, or this coif with a little mullet. This cloak and dagger style challenge I did a while back had Arthur Adams in it, and I kind of am very happy with how that one turned out. So for today, I'm gonna draw a man Skinny Adams never drew Gambit, so I'm gonna draw Gambit in the Skinny Adams style. So which pose? Well, that's a no-brainer since it's Arthur Adams. He has a favorite pose. Little hint, Richard Nixon. Victory! The victory pose. Two arms straight and then uh, one leg bent, one leg straight. That's definitely classic Arthur Adams. So let's doodle a few stick figures. So I'm gonna go with the second one. Let's get some more reference. This one also has those typical quads that I mentioned in the J. Scott Campbell video. And I'm gonna use this long shot hair as an example for Gambit's long hair. Let's give him the yellow and black X-Men uniform. That was always one of my favorites. But then the, the gloves hide those forearms. So maybe a ripped top part, not looking right. Arms are too thick. The neck's not looking right, so let's just start over with a natural looking neck. Gambit has that long skinny face, kind of like this Nightcrawler. Let's start inking with the thin line. Let's uh, try to blend it in with the other old comics. So color half tone, overlay like the comic from the other side of that page, and some more bluish blurs, dim the colors a bit. Yeah, here we go. This blends in pretty well with the others. Very happy with how this turned out. I thought I exaggerated the feet too much, but no, that's actually how big the feet are. Skinny 80s Adam's Gambit. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.